Welcome friends to this video. We're going to do a short tutorial from a leak code challenge. It is called shuffle the array in Python. Let's read through the problem and then we'll go through an example to kind of explain how it works. And then we'll jump into a code solution. So the problem states, given the array of nums consisting of two n elements in the form of x1, x2 to the x nth, and then y1, y2 to the y nth, return the array in the form of x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. So how does that work? Well, they give you an input array of nums, and in this example, they've given you two, five, one, three, four, seven. And n, what that means is how many numbers are in the x portion and how many numbers are in the y portion. So for example, we have six numbers, and so they're saying three digits to each array. So the first three digits are going to be x, and the last three digits are going to be y. x, the first position two, x to the second position five. So that's what they're saying is two, five, one. So two, five, one. And then y is three, four, seven, three, four, seven. So they, what they want you to do is shuffle every other from x, then y, x, then y. So it would be two, then three, then five, then four, then one, then seven. So we got two, three, five, four, one, seven. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So let's code our solution. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to store this in a list. So that's gonna be our output. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate through this nums array. And what we're gonna do is use the append to add that to our list. So essentially what it's gonna look like is we're going to iterate and the first x variable we're going to add, and then then y variable we're going to add, and then we're go, gonna go through the array again and do the second x and the second y. So let's see what that looks like. So we're just gonna call our variable result and have it an empty list. And then we're gonna do loop through the, through the nums, so it's for i in range. and we're gonna loop through n times. So remember n was three, and our array length is three, so we're gonna loop through this three times. And then what I talked about is we're gonna use the append function. So what we're gonna do is store it in our result output and append it, so that's add it. And then we're going to take nums, which is from our array, and we're gonna add the position i. So this is x, that's the first position. That's the first pass, and then the second one, we're gonna append again. This time we're gonna do nums at position i plus n, which is three. So remember our array is three. We're going to go i, and then if we add three, that's our first position y. And then we're done with that first iteration. We'll loop through it again. And then we'll do the next i plus store that in the output. And then we'll do the i plus three, and that's our next y, and store that in the output. And so it'll go through that three times. And then we will just return our result. All right, let's go ahead and run this on all test cases and it did run successfully. Hopefully that made sense the way I explained it. Sometimes I might draw this out, but this one hopefully is straightforward. Let me know if you need any additional help, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.